Howdy Long Moose fans, how's it going? Uh, going to kind of do a product opening today, if you will. Uh, this is going to, you know, it'll run over the next two or three days, take a little different segments. One of the questions that came up from one of my subscribers, uh, alone in remote Alaska, and I'll put a link to her channel down below, uh, because she works from home, and, you know, when I move up to Alaska, I'm still planning on working for at least a year, maybe a little longer, uh, but I have to have viable internet service. And where the property is located, uh, which is along Sterling Highway, about halfway down the Kenai Peninsula, you can't get uh, wired cable internet, you know, or fiber optic internet, or anything like that. It just does not exist there. So people primarily either use like Dish or DirecTV. Uh, some people will use their phones and hotspots for internet. Uh, and in fact, my buddy Sean, Sean in Alaska, and again, I'll put a link to his channel down below. And I hope you guys have already subscribed and watching him. He, he's a great guy. And so is the uh, gal in, uh, you know, uh, is it Lone in remote Alaska. Uh, but... <clears throat> the question comes up, how am I going to have reliable internet? Because when I get up there in mid-June, I mean, I basically have to be able to set up, have power, and be, have internet within a day or two. I only have so much leave time set up, you know, that I can do to drive up there and then be ready to be functional during the day. Um, so there's two things I was looking at. And one is Starlink, which is Elon Musk's thing. And it's supposed to be coming available in Alaska sometime this year. But they can't tell me when. And the second is a company called Nomad Internet. And I've been looking at them for about six months now. And I uh, finally decided to take the plunge. I'm going to start out with them. Um, so I've ordered the what they call their Anywhere plan. Uh, this is supposed to basically be able to uh, work anywhere in the United States. We'll find out. Uh, I think it piggybacks off of Verizon. And I actually had Sean, uh, one of his trips down to Homer, stop by my property and check his phone. <clears throat> and he said he, uh, he had four full bars uh, and 4G there at the property. So I'm very hopeful this is going to work. Uh, I also, you know, I'm going to be setting it up here at the house in Texas right now to, you know, test it out and get familiar with it. I'll, once I get it hooked up, everything charged up, then, uh, you know, that'll be part two of this video coming on. Uh, I'll put them together in one video, but I'm filming them, you know, different days. You, you know what I'm doing. Um, but anyway, it, I have to have it, make sure it works here. At the same time, uh, first week of May, I'm going to be going back to West Virginia to visit my parents again one last time before I head north, and my brother, you know, mom and my brother are both in the nursing home, uh, make sure and see them a few times. But, there is no internet at uh, Dad's place, so it's got to be able to work there because once, you know, we all know it's going to happen. Once they pass, I'm going to have to go back there, settle the estate and everything, sell the property and deal with all that, so I'm going to have to be working from there for a while. So i got to make sure that their Anywhere plan works there. And then when I hit the ground in Alaska, uh, to make sure it works there. Now, just as my backup plan, and Sean, uh, you know, if you watch his videos, he's, he basically uses his hotspot on his phone uh, to do his uploading and for his live broadcasts and everything. Uh, so I'm going to be switching my primary phone service next month uh, over to Verizon uh, so that I will have that as a backup just in case there's a hiccup here, which I don't think there will be. But anyway, like I said, I have subscribed to their uh, Anywhere plan, and I just got the box in the mail the other day. Have not, or not the box, well, there is a box in here. Haven't opened it or anything, so let's take a look and see what we got in here. All right, 4G wireless router. Oh my. Will you cooperate? Yeah, it looks like you are. This product can be plugged into SIM card, transmit wireless signals, Wi-Fi, wireless coverage, uh, wireless wired network, anytime, anywhere network, easy for other equipment network, equipped with multiple 
omnidirectional uh, rotatable antennas. It has strong wireless coverage, supports multi-user access at the same time, and easy to operate web UI interface. All right. All that being said, what's in the box? All right, first thing, instruction manual. Got to have that. Setup instructions. Yeah, let's see. One, remove the modem from the box and connect the power supply cable to the back of the modem. That's easy to do. Connect the power cord to an L wall outlet. All right, still easy. The network name, SSID, and password are located on the bottom of the modem. Nighthawk customers, I'm not Nighthawk. Connect your device to the Wi-Fi and look for the network name. Please let the router sit for an hour or two so it can link with the bands in the area. If you need more support, call this number. Well, I might have to have my glasses on when it comes time to read this. Okay, this is the modem right here. Four omnidirectional antennas. I guess I, these things, yeah, they rotate up and around and down and sideways. And you can make all kinds of geometric shapes with it. I can make, make my initials and make a big W out of it. Who knows? Uh, so we got that. And power adapter and a little computer cable, and that's it. <laughs> okay, it gets I don't guess it gets any simpler than that. Hopefully, it's got the SIM card and everything already in it and set up and ready to go. Uh, that looks like a USB connection right there, power port right there on this side. If you wanted a hard, hard connect. Uh, any of your equipment, your monitor or, you know, computer, whatever in here, you can do that on the back side. Okay. So far, looks like simple enough that even an antique old moose might be able to do this. So, uh, how did you, there we go. Got it in there. Put this and this back in here. I'm going to, uh, wait until tomorrow because it's getting kind of late now. And... Put this thing together, fire it up, and see how it works here in South Texas. And one of the reasons I want to try it here is, you know, this is an old house. Uh, basically, on my T-Mobile phone, I'm usually lucky if I get, you know, two two bars is about normal. Three is really good. Uh, see how that works. And this house also has a, a stone veneer all the way around. So my bedroom, office room here. It's all, uh, you know, stone, and if you look over, I'll turn this around just a bit here. Eh, come on, loosen up. Yeah, just like that wall right there, that's also what the outside of the house looks like. So, we'll see how that goes. Uh, but, yeah, tomorrow I'll be filming some more. When I'm actually online, I'm going to try it with work as well as on, uh, you know, my own computer. And see what we could do. Uh, remember I mentioned... Uh, Alone in remote Alaska. I'll put the link to her site down below. Check her out. Uh, you know, she's got some interesting videos. She lives way out in the boonies. Uh, you know, I'm not so far out in the boonies like that. But, you know, if you're really interested in that kind of lifestyle, you'll really like her channel. And, of course, I'll put a link for Sean. Hopefully, you guys have already subscribed to Sean and you watch his Sunday, uh, you know, video broadcast. He does it at 3 o'clock Sunday afternoons, Alaska time, which for me is 6 o'clock <coughs> excuse me, central time, and I usually try and make it, but sometimes I get, like this past weekend, I didn't, because I got detailed to go to the grocery store about that time, uh, but you know, hey, we all try and get in and do what we can. The YouTube community, and especially in the Ala those interested in Alaska, is really a network, it's almost like a big extended family. Now, when I'm on Sean's broadcast, we can see a lot of 
channels I follow. Also follow him that are on there and in talking with you know some of the other uh, channels up there. Everyone's kind of all interconnected and kind of knows everybody else in one way or another. So it is a big network. It is a big family and it's a community. Bottom line, it's a community. So I hope you all have enjoyed this part. I will see you all tomorrow for the next segment. Low Moose out for now. Everyone stay safe out there. Well, Moose fans, I had a couple of requests from some of the viewers who wanted to see some more dogs. So, back up there is Miss Zoe, also known as the Joker, because when she smiles at you, she's got that Joker smile on her face. And then there's Mr. Luke. He's the old man of the pack, aren't you, buddy boy, huh? Yep. And come around the corner here. And we got the other two sisters. There's Miss Britt on the left and Miss Chloe on the right. And Chloe and Zoe and Britt are all sisters that came out of the same litter. And they're going to be uh, five years old in July. Wow. Then out here doing his big job is Mr. Gaja Boy hiding in the shadows. Yeah, I don't you, buddy. Ganja is about two. He's a border collie pit mix. And he's doing his job. He lays here to protect his herd and keep an eye on us so nobody gets past him. And of course, my giant baby boy Jax is in doggy jail for another six days. He was involved in a bite incident, so he's uh, got to do his 10 days in quarantine. So we all miss him, but I checked on him today, and he's doing just fine. So, that's the pack right now. So, let's go over here, and we're going to take a look at the router setup that I got from uh, Nomad Internet. I plugged it in. Now, I know you probably are not going to be able to see all the buttons here and what they say. But the blue one flashing means that it's connected to their network. And then the next one, we're on 4G. This, this particular router works 3G or 4G. And then we have a solid signal. So all is looking good here. I'm going to uh, put the camera on the tripod here and we're going to try to log it in and see how this goes. Okay, so I have the router here, blinking away, doing its thing. Now, my big computer here currently is hooked up to the main house router, so I'm going to disconnect that. And then we're going to come down here and try and connect on the LTE router. Enter the network security key. And it says now that I am connected. I'm showing four bars, so I don't know how much of the screen y'all can see here. Uh, let's see. And bing. And we come over here. Do a new YouTube. Yeah, so much craziness going on in the world. I want to pick a video here and see. All right, a bowling one. Do you think strength is a gift? It's not. Everything you've seen me do was made possible by what you don't see. <laughs> First off, I want to give a shout out to everyone that signed up for our membership. I know we've plugged 
it if you know you don't know okay so many people sign up it's definitely working the video is playing just fine uh, later after I edit and render this video Let's see if it's going to light me up here a little bit so you can see me there so after I uh, get this edited and rendered then I'm going to try and upload it uh, of course that won't be in this video but uh, so far it looks good now uh, this weekend I've got to make a run to El Paso which is eh, over 550 miles from here to pick up some stuff and I'm going to take the router with me there and see if it'll connect and do things and uh, got my fingers crossed that so far Nomad is uh, living up to its uh, you know advertising and this is their anywhere plan and so far anywhere is in the Texas Hill Country um, I really need this to be able to work not only here uh, but when I have to go back to West Virginia to deal with parents in your state and things like that uh, where I'll probably end up being back there for two or three months I'm gonna have to have internet access because there is none at dad's place now and of course uh, you know, have it uh, functional in Alaska. And as I make the drive up there uh, this summer, May, June, I'm going to uh, run several tests as I go up both in the U.S. and in Canada uh, to see if I connect and get a signal and how strong and whatnot. So I'll be reporting that as I go as well. So I hope you all are enjoying this. Uh, the craziness out here is this is the 20, ding, 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 25th of February. Now, for the last three days, it has been colder in Spring Branch, Texas, than it has been in Nanilchik, Alaska, where my property is. Sometimes as much as 10 degrees colder and 10 degrees more wind chill. Yeah, really. <laughs> Go figure. I was talking, chatting with a friend of mine in Anchorage, and I uh, said it was, uh, you know, 40 degrees up there. And that would have been 5 o'clock this evening, their time. So, well, the weather in the world is crazy, but I hope you all are enjoying this. If you are, please hit the like and subscribe for me. If you hit the notify bell, you'll be notified when I make new videos. Uh, please leave me your comments down below. Let me know what you think about it. Or if you have any specific questions uh, regarding the... Uh, Ding, ding. Will my finger even pick it up out there? No, that's out of the camera view. You know, out of the router, the uh, Nomad Internet and whatnot. And I'll let you all uh, know with answers as best I can. Um, got my hopes up, like I said. You know, this, this is my ticket because in order to be able to move up to Alaska and continue working, I have to have reliable Internet. And this is looking like my best bet right now. So, you know, again, this is Lone Moves Out. Y'all stay warm, stay safe, stay dry wherever you're at. Stay away from the craziness going on in the world as best you can. Uh, you know, we're all a, a big community here. And I hope everyone's enjoying it. I'll see you when I do my next video.